Back to another video guys, you're on A-Level Math with Daniel Dallas. Today we're gonna go through differentiation of quadratics. So, we learn how to differentiate quadratics, quadratic functions, and also we'll be finding the turn point of that, and we'll prove finally that the x vertex coordinate of the vertex is gonna be equal to negative b over 2 you just remember that rule how to find the x vertex coordinate as negative b over 2a. So today, using differentiation tool, we'll prove that. So make sure you watch the previous video and about differentiation and about the rules for differentiations. So if you know how to differentiate, how to apply the power rule, how to apply constant multiple rule, how to apply differentiation on the constant function. So right now you'll get an, um, all um, skills in order to differentiate different quadratics. All right, so let's get started. If we have quadratic function with general equation x squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c just coefficients, or basically numbers, so the derivative of that function in general way is equal to 2ax plus b. So simply, we, we're going to use the power rule and also the constant multiple rule and c differentiations of constant c will give you zero. So that's why we'll finally know that dy dx is going to be equal to y prime and that simply looks like 2x to ax plus b. Okay, but let's remember that during differentiation if you put the tangent line to that, so to let's say to the point where the parabola has the minimum point in this case, or another uh, turning point if your branch goes down. So this is the turning point, or turn simply. So at this point, we know that the tangent line, that means you have a derivative of the function, is simply horizontal. So that's why at the turn point, derivative should be equal to zero. From that, we can set up a new equation in order to find that x coordinate of that point because so this we know this is the vertex and it should have two coordinates x vertex and y vertex. In this case, definitely we're looking first for the x vertex coordinates. From there, if we express generally x through coefficients b and a, we'll get negative b over 2a. That's well-known fact from your previous study, right, or assume knowledge about the vertex, negative b over 2a, but actually it's thanks to differentiation tool that you apply to quadratics. Okay, so that's x vertex in order to find y vertex, you simply plug that, and that's how you can find the y vertex, okay? So bear in mind, you also can apply this general tool in order to differentiate different sort of quadratics. So if you're given the standard form, let's go to standard form and let's say for the function y from x, let it be negative 2x squared plus 3x minus 1, you would like to find the turn point or basically the vertex point, okay? How to find that? You know the tool. So you differentiate, you make a derivative dy dx. Uh, I don't recommend to, you know, to memorize this formula, but I think if you already know this, you can quick recap without different without differentiation, right? So you, if you are given the general tool, you just simply can find the vertex using the formula, okay? But if you don't want to do that and on top of that, you need to show that clearly using derivative. So just simply differentiate. Let's differentiate that and let's compare it with what we have if we plug coefficients. So negative 3 over 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. So we should get 3 over 4. And let's now differentiate. Uh, so it's going to be negative 4x plus 3. So we equate to zero from where x vertex is going to be negative, sorry, uh, okay, we transfer negative 4x to the right side and divide by 4. 
So three over four. So actually you see they match, right? But what if, and okay, and in the same way you can find y simply plug in that x vertex instead of the function. I'm not gonna do that, but you, you know what to do. So we just simply need to plug this value instead of x three times three over four and just perform calculations. Okay, so that's how we can find complete a set of coordinates for the vertex, for the turning point. Okay, so um, what if you're given parabola in general form? So in general form, for example, in this way, negative two times, let's say x minus one squared and plus three, okay? You already know the vertex coordinates. Just remember, the general equation is simply x minus h squared plus k. So that's why if you don't want to expand then differentiate because this is definitely the long way, you remember that this is the shortcut. You already know the uh, vertex and the turning, uh, turning point coordinates for that. So h and k, that's going to be h and k. That's already the turning uh, point coordinates. So in this case, obviously h equals 1 and k equals 3. But if you're clearly asked to differentiate, so what are you going to do? Uh, there are two ways, actually. The first using expansion, so expand and differentiate. Okay, differentiate. Okay, let's do this quick. If you expand that, I hope you know how to expand that expression. So it's going to be x squared minus 2x plus 1 and plus 3. Then actually you expand, so you multiply everything by negative 2. But right now I'm just using the shortcut, so I'll differentiate that quick. And I'll get negative 4x, so plus 4 without x plus 4 and negative 2 differentiation will give me a constant right so that's why we equate to 0 from where we can get the x is 1 so we already found that using the general approach using the vertex form okay so that's the way how you can do but there is also another way how you can perform your um, differentiation so you can use the the rule that allows you to consider that expression as you know as the compound function so if you already know the way how to differentiate compound function let's say uh, f from g from x and you're going to use the chain rule for that so you differentiate df dx and multiply by the derivative of g Oops, sorry, my bad. Uh, chain rule tells me d f d g, right? And times d g d x. Because obviously d g and d g will be canceled. So that's for only those who are already familiar with compound functions. So that's the second approach using compound functions. If you're not sure how to use that, so either watching videos dedicated to compound functions and the chain rule or use the first way using expansion and then differentiation okay but i'll show you that quick so in our case g function is what you have inside this x minus one and f function is simply x minus one uh, squared so in this case if i differentiate that i'll simply get the following so y prime using compounding is going to be negative 4 times x, okay? That's what I'll have after applying the chain rule. So this is the chain rule of differentiation. And um, minus 4, yeah. And minus 4, yes. And 4x minus 1, sorry, yeah. I should, I supposed to have that. So that's using the chain rule and Differentiation of 3 will give me 0 finally. So that's why I equate to 0 and from there I can easily find 
x equals 1. So the same story, but in a bit maybe harder way. So anyway, you need to know compound functions and chain rules soon. So that's why it's right time to practice about that, that way as well. I'll show you maybe uh, soon in the next or in a few next videos, I'll show you how to apply the chain rule and how to differentiate compound functions. All right, so that's simply that. Uh, graphically, it means that at the turn point, when the parabola has the turn, you just need to simply apply derivative and apply um, and equate it to zero because at every single turn point or stationary point, uh, the tangent should ha should be horizontal, okay? That's why the gradient is zero, that's why you can use that way, okay? So I hope you like that. In a few next videos, I will show you exam styles question about differentiation for quadratics. So make sure you watch that. That was Daniel Dallas. If you're new here, subscribe. Don't forget to smash the bell button and see you next time.